Hi, this is Coleman McCormick, Head of Product at Fulcrum. Fulcrum is a no-code application platform that makes it easy to collect data, automate workflows, and deliver location-based insights, especially when integrated with your existing GIS programs. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use Fulcrum's integration with Esri's ArcGIS Online platform. To start off, we've got an app we've built for pole inspections, and I'd like to publish that data into an ArcGIS Online environment. In this use case, We've set this app up for technicians to be able to complete inspection reports from the field, capturing data on asset conditions, location, photos, and more. You can see here that I've got work in progress happening in the field, and these colors represent different statuses of the work. Needs review, needs inspection, passed, failed. All of these give people working back in the office the ability to get insight into what's happening on the ground with their field work. If I pull up an example, you can see an inspection that was completed and needs review. What I want to do is connect this data up with my ArcGIS environment so that my GIS users can add this as a layer. Now let's take a look at the ArcGIS online side. Over here, I've got a map project that I've already set up with various layers that I want to have as reference for working with this utilities data. So we've got a reference grid, we've got building footprints, we've got electric corridors, we've got power lines, and we've got the power poles data set in a GIS. And so what I want to do is be able to add my fulcrum data into here to get a live feed of the inspections happening in the field with the Fulcrum mobile app in context with my existing data. So let's flip back to Fulcrum and see how we do that. Our Esri integration uses the Fulcrum Views feature, which allows you to configure saved filters for specific data. So what I'll do to start is I will filter out some of these fields that I don't want in my GIS, then save a view for publishing into my GIS system. So over here we'll hide some of these fields that we don't want to be able to see. Then we'll save a view and we'll call it all inspections. What we'll want to do is make it a shared view and with one click I can actually open this in the ArcGIS Online Viewer or what I'm going to do is add the feature service URL for this data and add it as a new layer into my map project. So we'll confirm that, save the view, and now we'll switch back to ArcGIS Online. And all you need to do is click the Add button, add a layer from the web, and an ArcGIS server web service is what we're looking for. Give it that URL and click Add Layer. Now you'll see the same data brought into my GIS system from Fulcrum as a live feed, so it's a service. It's not downloading anything, it's loading it over the internet. So we always get an up-to-date look at what's going on in the field, merged in with the rest of my GIS data that's in my ArcGIS Online environment. And you'll see that it pulled over the status colors just like it matches with the Fulcrum status field. Once it's in ArcGIS Online, I actually have a version that I've already saved here. So we'll turn on this layer. Once you have it in your GIS, you can actually customize the symbology even further if you'd like. It defaults to Fulcrum symbology, but this is customizable on the GIS uh, cartography side. And then I can also configure the pop-up that I want to have displayed when a record is selected. So I've configured a pop-up title and a custom template that I want to show that inserts data from Fulcrum that was collected in my inspection form. So if I actually select one of these records, 
I get a preview of its data that's coming over from the fulcrum system. And there's that record we looked at a moment ago with its photo displayed on, in ArcGIS Online. Once it's added into your GIS environment, it works just like any other GIS layer. I can do geoprocessing on this. I can run queries. I can do anything else that I would do with joins and relates or anything that GIS operations that I would typically do with a GIS data set. The difference is now it's a live feed from my Fulcrum system. And because it's using a web service, when I save this project, this layer will save along alongside all my other ones. So all I have to do is return to this map and I'll have that live feed. So users in your organization that aren't even involved in field operations can still gain access to that data and be able to use it in day-to-day decision-making.